Hello, on behalf of the Army Soldier Records Branch, welcome to the fifth and final video segment on the Record Review Tool. In the previous segment, we demonstrated how to conduct a finance record review with the soldier not present and a finance review with the soldier unavailable. The purpose of this video is to provide information regarding the steps to initiate a problem case and running summary reports. You can find more detailed information regarding required documents in specific situations in either AR 600-8-104 or the Record Review Tool How-To Guide, which is located on our website. Submitting a problem case. On occasion, a soldier or record manager may find discrepancies or problems with a soldier's record that require administrative level assistance to resolve. Examples include, but are not limited to, duplicate documents in a record, illegible or incorrectly filed documents, and or documents that do not belong to the soldier in the record. Discrepancies can be resolved by submitting a problem case in IPERMS. Do not submit problem cases to have historical DD-93s and SGLVs removed from the record as they will not be removed. Do not submit problem cases for missing documents as we do not have hard copy documents here and you will need to get them from the soldier. For National Guard soldiers and record managers, the State or Territory S1 MILPO IPERMS Domain Manager will resolve all personnel records issues. Discrepancies with evaluations must be addressed to the evaluations branch. To have derogatory documents removed or transferred from the performance to the restricted folder, follow the instructions given on our webpage under the heading Derogatory Documents at the website located on the screen. To submit a problem case while in the RRT, locate the Report a Problem Case yellow triangle at the top of the page. Click on the report a problem. Select the document problem and enter the description of the problem. Be specific. Include document name and effective date of the document or documents in question. Add social security number of soldier. Select create a case at the bottom of the screen. A case number will appear. Place this number in the reviewer comments in the review. Case will be forwarded to the system administrators for resolution. They will provide feedback via email. Record review reports. Any RM with access to the records manager role in IPERMS can run reports to track the review status of their units and personnel to ensure compliance. Each report listed below can be generated based on different criteria entered by the RM. Select the Reviews tab. Select Reports. Command Summary Report. This report summarizes the current status of financial and personnel records review at the MACOM division and brigade levels with drill down capability. When a major command code is entered and the record manager selects Run Report, another screen that shows the major command, division, and brigade DML and PSC codes. Selecting any of these codes will in turn drill down to a UPC installation Division Brigade and Unit Name. Selecting the UPC will pull up by name soldier report. From this report, the record manager has the ability to initiate a review. Any area when the mouse is hovered over and the green turns to gray, the record manager is able to drill down to another level. Installation Summary. This report summarizes the current status of financial and personnel record reviews for all the units under an installation's hierarchy. Repeat the same steps as in the command summary report to access the needed data. Unit summary report. This unit summarizes the current status of financial and personnel records reviews at the division, brigade, and battalion levels with drill down capability. Repeat the same steps as the command summary report to access the needed data. Unit detail report. This report is used at the unit level to show current status of the finance and personnel record reviews for each soldier in the unit. The record manager can only run this report by entering the UPC code. The record manager has the capabilities of initiating a record review from this report. Unit completion report. The unit completion report shows all the units under a certain UPC and it tells you how many soldiers a review is done on and how the review was completed, either independent, 
joint or soldier on available. You can drill down by UIC for a by name list to see who the reviewer was that did it, the type of review that was done, and what review type it was. Going back to the completion summary report, the totals, you should never have more soldier unavailable completions than you do a joint and independent completion, as the soldier unavailable is supposed to be used as the last resort for getting a review done. The record manager can run these reports with the same specific criteria as discussed previously during the list review segment, or you can run the report without any criteria by selecting Run Report. Remember, you can run this report in either HTML or in an Excel spreadsheet. Conclusion. The Army has experienced major changes in its financial and business operations in the last three years, and more is coming. The Record Review Tool is moving the Army and record management in the right direction towards record accuracy and audit readiness. With this being said, I can't elaborate on the importance of capturing all key supporting documents for a soldier's pay and entitlements and getting them to IPERMS. In regards to record accuracy, every soldier needs to understand the importance of having a complete and accurate record and the main goal of the record review tool is to ensure that all documents that tell a story from the time a soldier enlists to the time of separation is captured in IPERMS.